Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for upper intermediate English learners. You can download the PDF transcript of this and other stories on our Patreon page. You can find the link in the description below. Ready? Let's get started. B2 C1 English Story Roman Britain The Roman invasion of Britain was led by Julius Caesar in 55 BC. BC means before Christ. So if you see a date and it says BC after it, it means this was a time before the birth of Jesus Christ. If the date says AD before it, for example AD 100, it is an abbreviation for Anno Domini, which is a Latin phrase meaning in the year of the Lord. Any date with AD means it is after the birth of Jesus. The Romans wanted to invade Britain so they could take advantage of the natural resources. Julius Caesar wrote a book detailing the resources, such as tin, iron and cattle. The Romans wanted them so they could become even more powerful and rich. Julius Caesar tried to invade Britain twice, but was unsuccessful. During this time, the Romans built huge armies across what is now Europe, but did not successfully invade Britain until AD 43. The Romans, led by Emperor Claudius, landed on the beaches in Kent. Kent is a county in the southeast of England. After many gruesome battles over a period of 30 years, Britain became part of the Roman Empire. During this time, the UK was made up of many Celtic tribes with many leaders. There was not one king or queen. When the Romans invaded Britain, the Celtic tribe leaders had to decide whether they wanted to fight against them or not. The Romans told them that if they agreed to obey their laws and pay taxes, then they could keep their kingdoms. Some leaders chose to fight the Romans as they were fed up with the high taxes and the Romans taking all their best land. Boudicca was a tribe leader who fought against the Romans. She was the queen of the Iceni of eastern England. In AD 60, she led an army into battle and burnt Colchester, a Roman town, to the ground. They also destroyed London before heading to St Albans. While Boudicca's army was rampaging across the southeast, the Roman army was invading Wales. The Romans changed their plans and a huge battle took place between Boudicca's army and the Romans. The army outnumbered the Romans by up to 20 to 1, but the Romans were better trained and had lots of armour. The army was defeated and it is said that around 80,000 people were killed. After their win, the Romans went on to rule Britain for the next 400 years. They built many roads which are still in use today. They also built many buildings and towns and created a structure of law. The Romans never conquered some areas of Scotland. Back then, Scotland was called Caledonia. Much like England, it was made up of people living in tribes some of whom were happy to let the Romans rule, and some of whom were not. There was a big battle in AD 84 between the Caledonian tribes and the Romans. The Caledonians retreated, but for many of the following years, they raided and attacked the Romans. In AD 122, 
Emperor Hadrian built a wall between Roman England and Caledonia to keep the Caledonians out. Parts of Hadrian's wall still stand and the wall is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Romans remained in Britain until AD 410. It was during this time that the first Christian communities began to appear in Britain and tribes from Northern Europe invaded the country. Let's go through some of the vocabulary about the Romans in Britain. Conquer. To conquer. To conquer is to take control or possession of something by using force. Emperor or empress is the ruler of an empire. An empire? Empire is a group of countries ruled by a single person, so an emperor or an empress or a government. To outnumber. Outnumber. To outnumber is to be greater in number than someone or something else. Heritage. Heritage. Heritage is the art, buildings, traditions and beliefs that belong to a society's history and culture. To raid. Raid. To raid is to suddenly attack a place. To retreat. To retreat. To retreat is to go away from a place or person to escape from fighting or danger. To invade. Invade. To invade is to enter a country and take control by force, by using an army. Powerful. Powerful. To be powerful is to have a lot of power to control people. Leader. Leader. A leader is a person in control of a group, country or situation. To obey. To obey. To obey is to do what a law or a person says that you must do. Resource. Resource. A resource is a useful or valuable possession of a person, country or company. Tribe. Tribe. A tribe is a group of people who live together sharing the same language, culture and history. Rampage. To go on a rampage. To go on a rampage is to go through an area uncontrolled and cause lots of damage. Gruesome. Gruesome. Gruesome is used to describe death or an injury in an unpleasant or graphic way. Cattle. Cattle. Cattle are usually cows that are kept in herds for their meat and milk. Defeat. To defeat. To win against someone in a fight, war or competition is to defeat them. If you have been defeated, then you have lost. To destroy. To destroy. To destroy is to damage something so badly it can no longer be used. To attack. Attack. To attack is to try and hurt or defeat others by using violence. Battle. Battle. A battle is a large fight between two armies in a war. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Now you can get productive with your language learning and download one of our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. 
link in the description below. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.